I want to start using my iPad more because I have one and just don't know why I don't use it for anything. So I figured I would kind of um, put in my reminders, like my to-do list, to list for today. So this is kind of what I need to get done today with it being my off day. Um, we're going to do a dinner recipe, do some cleaning, computer work. Normally, I would have more on this list, like go to the store and get other stuff done. But I told Kevin to um, take his car or take his truck to work today since I'll just be at home. So I figured I'll just stay home and get all of this done. Got my cup of coffee. And we are ready to start the morning. We've got everything in the crock pot for the loaded baked potato soup. And now we let it sit for a few. been a minute since I vlogged I did like a little clip yesterday of me getting my car but other than that I haven't really vlogged so I am finally back in my Jeep I am so excited if you could not tell and we're about to go to the grocery store um, get some groceries for the week do some meal prepping maybe a little charcuterie board today and watch some football games and that's about it um excuse my appearance i have no makeup on and i'm extremely tired so i feel like i don't look the cutest but it's fine we're just going to the store nobody to impress um and yeah i'll show you guys what we're doing later groceries for the week so it will be worth it we were out of a lot of stuff we've been trying to be really good with the salads um, for lunches and then we have also been trying to like change it up with dinners during the week 
So I feel like I've been having to buy a lot of new ingredients for all of the recipes. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go home, put all of this away, um, probably do a little bit of cooking, maybe do a little charcuterie board and relax the rest of the day. on a little family walk <laughs> down at the lake and it looks so pretty <laughs> come on Kane are you tired are you tired? What are we making? Oh, uh, we're having steak tonight. <laughs> it's too cold to go outside. It's kind of nasty out, so. Ooh, looking good. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I am technically off today, but not actually off because I am headed to the salon right now just to pick up color to do my grandma's hair. We just do, sometimes we do highlights on her and a root color, and then sometimes we just do a root color. Today, we're just doing a root color and a haircut. Um, and I'm actually going to her house to do it because she gets nervous about COVID and the flu and everything going on right now and likes to um, stay at home as much as she can, which I totally understand. So I'm gonna have some quality time with her. And then um, I placed an online order for Salon Centric, so I have to go pick that up today. And that is also our like beauty supply store. That's where I get all my color products, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna do that. I can show you guys what all I get from Salon Centric. And then I'll probably just be hanging out the rest of the day. Maybe get some editing done on my computer and that's about it. My cabinet is a mess. Let's just ignore that. I need, let's see, what is that? 7NN. I need 8NN. Oh, that is 5NN. Mm, I guess we'll use 9.
right, so I did my grandma's hair and hung out with her for a little bit and then, oh, there goes my purse and everything in the car. Okay, we're just gonna get that in a minute. Um, so I just did all of that. I went to Salon Centric, got my color and products and totally forgot after all of my car stuff I've dealt with that I also needed to still get an alignment. So I am going to get that right now. And then hopefully I'll be done with like all of the car issues for a minute. Um, I was not planning on getting this alignment today, but I figured why not do it today, honestly. <laughs> um, and then I will be able to go home, hopefully take Sweet Cane for a walk because it's a little bit warmer out today. It's like 50 rather than 20, so that is a nice day for us here in Georgia. All right, guys, I will see you later. Now I'm curious, what do you guys do with your days off? Are you the type to stay at home all day and relax and catch up on your Netflix shows? Or are you the type to um, be busy, get stuff done, run errands? I'm definitely the type to be busy every time I'm off. Um, I feel like I can never sit still and Kevin knows that about me. I definitely get that from my mom. I have always got to be doing something. So I am definitely not the type of person to sit at home and watch Netflix shows unless I'm sick. If I'm sick, by all means, I will be in bed watching a show for probably a day and then I'm over it. But yeah, I'm curious. Tell me in the comments what you normally do with your day off. So I am not even going to lie, I'm not in the best mood and I have definitely been crying, but it's going to be fine. Basically, I, as you saw before, I was going to get an alignment um, because I did know before I even had my car issues, I needed to get an alignment. And then when I got all of this work done, um, the past few weeks, they did tell me afterwards I was still going to need an alignment. So I was aware of that. And I went today to go get one and they ended up telling me, well, first they came and asked me if my car had been towed recently. And I said, yes. And they could tell because um, basically, I guess what it was called is a tie rod. I have no idea. Basically, the inner and outer tie rods um, were bent and broke from what looked like it had been towed. So that's how they assumed that. And they said that when they put my car on the tow truck, they probably hooked it on to something they shouldn't have. And that's basically how that happened. So rather than simply just getting an alignment, again, it turned into a very expensive visit. And yeah, so it's just very frustrating um, considering if you saw my past vlog where I talked about all my car issues and I spent a lot of money into, and I put a lot of money into my car that I shouldn't even be putting into my car basically. Um, thankfully my car is paid off. So that's why I have kept her for so long because I do love my Jeep and I've put so much money into it that I just want to keep it. But it's to the point where I think I may need to get a new car this year, which was not in this year's plan. But like I said in my intro video, you know, life throws you curveballs and you just have to go with it. So if I have to get a new car this year, it may be something fun. So we might as well get uh, looking forward to some car vlogs and test driving and things like that because that could be happening this year. <laughs> least I'm going to look at the positive side of it, but I was very upset that 
that happen, but I mean, what can you do? Um, it could have been a lot worse, could have been even more expensive, but I'm thankful that it wasn't, and I'm thankful I have my car, and she's running, and that's what you gotta look at.